When Dreamweaver first came on the scene, it was known for its extensibility. The power it gave to creative developers like Project 7 to develop add-ons, tools that, that installed into Dreamweaver and allowed users, you, to create page layouts, menu systems, panel widgets, image galleries, etc., etc. Over the years, Adobe has kind of lost its way, and um, that ability has become subverted a little bit. If you are subscribing to the Creative Cloud version of Dreamweaver, you know that it includes an open source, off-the-rack CSS framework developed by Twitter called Bootstrap. And Bootstrap is a fairly decent framework. It's very robust, very powerful, but very, very big. The CSS files alone are well over 6,000 lines long. They're also locked. They're not editable. If you want to change or customize colors or design, you need to create your own style sheet and link it to your page. It's not exactly user-friendly. Does it work? Yes. Is it something that is efficient for a small web designer's workflow? No. No. Not even close. Layout Builder Magic is something that we have just developed. And it's unprecedented in its power and its automation. It allows you to create modern, responsive layouts from within a visual interface that runs inside Dreamweaver. It's a true WYSIWYG design developer. You can add or remove rows and columns as necessary, change the order of your rows, change the number of columns, set background colors, background images, text color, alignment, font properties, all visually. You can even set padding and borders, rounded corners. You can set widths independently. It is an amazingly powerful tool. Let's show you a couple of layouts that we made in under a couple of minutes using Layout Builder. This first one looks amazingly like our home page. It's a flat design, divided into rows. We use semi-transparency and a nice neat background image that does not scroll with the page. We could also take one of our menu tools, in this case slide out menu magic, and instantly slap a menu onto the page. And that menu can be set to scroll to the individual elements or rows within the layout. Pretty nifty. Now let's take a look at the page, the Layout Builder Magic interface. And let's open up a clean page here and click on the Layout Builder Magic interface. And as you can see, it is self-contained within Dreamweaver. If we start at the top, we can set attributes for the root Layout Builder container. We can set its width to a maximum or leave it at auto. We can set font stack to any one of four choices. And we can set font size. This is for the entire layout. This listing here tells you all the rows and columns that comprise your design. In this case, we start with one row with one column. Perfect, I might add, for a logo. So considering that our logo is a very light color, let's go ahead and make this column black. And let's use RGBA syntax so that we can set opacity to 90%. As you can see, the color is picked here. Now, to make this look really good, let's also set a background image on the root container. This is a large image, 1600 by 900. And we're going to set it to be fixed. It will not scroll with the page. 
So this is our first row. This is the wrapper for the columns inside. And we have one column in there. Let's go ahead and set, since we've got a dark background color, let's set a light text color for that column. Let's click OK and see what we've got so far. As you can see, we've got boilerplate text in here. Since we're going to insert a logo in there, let's go ahead and delete the boilerplate text and let's insert a logo. And let's set that logo image to be scalable. And let's see what that looks like now in a browser. Pretty cool. We can see the background image peeking through. Now let's add a content row below the logo. Now as you see here, the system detects that we've got an LVM system on the page. It's asking us if we'd like to modify the existing one or create a nested one inside. And we're going to modify the existing one. And we're simply going to add a row. And we're going to set the columns. 65% on the left. Add a second column. And set that to 35%. And to keep our peeking through the background effect with the image, we're going to set this particular row to an RGBA background of white. And we're going to set that to 0.75 or 75% opaque. And let's go ahead and click OK. And there we've got two columns. And notice we're in Dreamweaver Design View. And our columns actually display side by side. And we've taken care of that for you. We have not been able to make Dreamweaver Design View perfect. Nobody could do that except for Adobe. But we've made it work to the point where you can actually edit content in a reasonable facsimile to what your page will look like in a browser. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and add an image here. And we'll show you how we make it scalable. So let's use Dreamweaver's normal insert image dialog. And we'll choose a fairly large image. Now, obviously, it's very large. So we're going to select it. And then we're going to right click its tag, set class, and we're going to scroll down to scalable rounded. OK. Notice how it pops back into its container. Perfection. Now let's add a little bit more text to this column. I have a handy little snippet here that allows me to add text. And now let's see what this looks like in a browser. Now that's pretty cool. Here we've got something that's almost like our home page. And you can see how easy it is to put this all together. The content scrolls over the background. And the background image peeks through. There is virtually nothing you can't do with Layout Builder Magic. You're limited only by your imagination. Thank you for watching, and make sure you grab a copy of Layout Builder Magic.